only thing I hate worse than buffing, scuffing. Alright guys, it is midnight and we got her up to about 60 degrees in here. That's what I'm talking about. First time it's been 60 degrees in here in months. I don't know, I don't know if it's because I've lived up here too long or what, but man, it's, it's freaking uh, shirtless weather in here right now. So I don't know what everybody's problem is out there, but whew, I'm roasting in here. Man, 50 degrees is pretty decent, but 60 degrees? 62 and working damn uh, here's what I got done I went ahead and scuffed everything pretty much that I'm gonna be painting with 400 grit uh, dry just to make sure that it was scuffed up good because it was still pretty shiny good and ass and I cleaned it off with the alcohol so I got the uh, taping pretty much done that's all gonna get masked off up there I'm gonna be doing a blend right here in the pillar and blending into this door a little bit I got the engine bay all taped off which I didn't even realize that I would have to do but I started looking at it, I'm like damn I gotta paint the insides of these fenders too so um, I would have painted them off I guess but I gotta paint the frame too a little bit right there where I smoothed it out, where we did a, we straightened the frame out right there. Um, and then, yeah, this side's the same thing, so. Got some nice uh, two inch tape there, VW Darren style. We're almost ready for paint, man. <laughs> yeah. First pack of uh, 320 grit stickets instead of the hookets um, so that I can play with my garage sale find. Yeah, I finally got some of those because I don't have any. Well, I got some 160 and 80 for the hooket, so I figured I'd get a 320s for the sticket for obvious reasons. Nine feet doesn't quite make it all the way over the car. So you know. So that'll get me down to this tape on the door anyway, and then for like down here and over. Um, I'll just put some paper, I'm not gonna get you more plastic obviously. I didn't my razor blades, so.
guys see in my videos for the first time or if this is the uh, first video you watched of uh, someone taping off a vehicle, uh, go check out some of uh, BW Darren's older videos. Just uh, go to his page and look back and look at uh, some of his taping videos. If you guys want to learn how to tape off a car in record time, that's the man to learn it from. comes with this stuff, it's not second nature to me yet, so I'm still kind of feeling it out. It's almost like I know the basics, I pretty much know how to do it, I just don't, it's just not second nature yet, you know what I mean? So it doesn't flow, it's, it doesn't go as fast, because I haven't done a hundred of them yet. I got I had 14 layers of clothes on, so I didn't have to wear a jacket, so I was just in the middle of losing some layers. It's getting warm in here. Got the car pretty much all masked off. As you can see, uh, working on the bumper here. Got two ballots set up under there, shining up here on the car. Now that's all lit up nice. Yeah, yeah. I still got a uh, paper off the bottom over here and a little bit maybe back there. I don't even know if it's worth it. I'll probably do it just in case.
lot of problems on this because of the uh, compressor that I'm using. I tried, I thought I'd be okay using this little Husky 12 gallon compressor um, while I'm waiting to get a bigger one and um, this gun that I have even though it's uh, even though most gravity feds they say to run them at about 40 psi I run this one at like 65 70 even because um, it can just it just takes a lot of air to get the to get it to lay down really nice the running a lot of air through it just makes it mist it on just really fine I don't know if you guys noticed in the videos but after about a pass you know it would only take about one pass and the compressor would kick on after about the third pass um, I was down to 40 pounds or under and this gun doesn't spray a good paint job at 40 pounds it sprays a good paint job at 65 pounds 70 pounds um, and so the result of that was a crap load of orange peel it's just really fuzzy in a bunch of areas and a whole bunch of orange peel and this is kind of a big job to have that on so it sucks but that's kind of the reason for it the cause of it too is because this is a bigger job and after a couple passes the gun was done you know it was out of you know it didn't have enough air and uh, the compressor couldn't keep up so that really sucked and it made a bunch of work for me I wasn't able to fix much of it um, because after I you know I could do one pass real slow get a nice gloss laid down have it lay out nice and flat but then I'd have to wait for you know 10 seconds or 20 seconds and then do it again um, just to wait on the compressor and I couldn't keep a wet line going very good doing that so it's all bad so I'm in the market for a new compressor I got a snowmobile trailer I'm willing to trade for it um, I got you know some other stuff like that scooter and dirt bike and snow blower and all kinds of stuff that um, I'd trade for one so I'm gonna have to go into uh, my barter king mode and and uh, trade up to a freaking shop compressor that's for sure I was able to do pretty good on the bumper though had one run right there that I ended up leaving Still kind of fuzzy and orange peely though. And there's some trash in there. And see that texture? I don't know if I can pick it up on this crappy camera, but here it is. So I got this little texture. Really bad right here. This whole fender is like that. Actually it's not. Then I got a pretty decent, you know, like a factory looking orange peel on a lot of areas. But I was able to fix a couple areas. Like I said, I ran a, the gun over it just a bunch of times and really laid it on thick as much as I could. But... That all looks pretty, I mean this I didn't even spray clear coat on because it's under the, under the hood. And from the factory it doesn't look like they put clear on anything under the hood obviously. So, But then again I have that texture on there. Then all of a sudden the gun's like, okay here's all your material. <laughs> Not that it really matters to me because I'm going to be wet sanding everything anyway. I don't know. All in all, after I get done wet sand, then it'll be fine. I'm not going to touch the bumper. The bumper is decent. It's a used car, you know. It's not a show quality car. But it'll be, uh, it'll be acceptable, and I'll get most of that orange peel out. Yeah.